I'm Michelle Mueller. I'm one of the owners of Garden Light LED. We are a 21-year-old designer, engineer, and manufacturer of high-quality architectural and outdoor lighting. I'm in charge of strategy and marketing. See, I just got nervous, but that's OK. So these people are my purpose. I wake up every day because I get to help people discover who they are. I get to help people challenge themselves, offer new opportunities for them to be in environments that they never knew was possible. So that, for me, is a privilege and honor. These people make the lights that we sell. Thank you. So this is our team. Um, how many of you are going to be going back to our factory with us tomorrow? So for those of you that have demo cases, you have to come back to the factory tomorrow in order to get them. So if you're leaving early, please let us know, because we absolutely want you to come back to the factory. It's very important to see that. So we have CNC on site. We have production on site. We work in solid works. See, I'm getting nervous. I was all ready. Doing great. Diary of American Entrepreneur. I am also American Entrepreneur. I'm very proud of that. Every day when I wake up, I get to tell my children, <coughs> you can be whatever you want to be. Dream it, be it, do it. I believe in them. I needed that mentor in my life. So I'm going to share some of my own personal experience. <coughs> so some of you may have seen me in Disney ads, Disney campaigns, uh, swimming in the fish or shark tank at the Florida Aquarium. Um, I did the sandals ads. HSN, I was a spokesperson and an on-air talent. Um, I worked also with Marshalls and did their national campaign. What was wonderful for me is I did not go to college, but when I worked for these companies, I was able and exposed to amazing people that all came together to create an end result, a finished product. And I was like a sponge. I didn't know it at the time, but I was learning and I was seeking and I was watching people, whether it be the set designer or the makeup artist or the stylist for the set or even the people bringing the food in. As we started going through the process, we had people that were editing the film, people that were recording. I was learning. I was learning how groups of people, how a unit could move successfully and create something beautiful, which is my goal and my passion for all of us in this room. You guys don't know it, but for 2018, you're locked in. Like it or not, we've got high hopes for you. We want you to be our partners. We want you guys to network with one another and grow each other. We can move much more efficiently and successfully as a unit. And that's the whole goal here. We want to work together with you to help you realize your dreams and goals for this business. Because it's a wonderful business. When you get to bring light into the world, how much better of an illustration is that? So Rato started this company in 1996. Rato, I don't want to share too much. It's up to him. But he lost everything in 1996. A friend of his gave him a line of credit in outdoor lighting. Rato has business acumen. He had it. It comes from his grandparents. It's in his heritage. He lost everything in 1996 and started Garden Light LED. He actually dug and did landscape lighting. He installed over 2,000 lighting systems by the time I met him. He saved every penny. We laughed because he moved into my house with a dog named Shmoo and Rato. And since that very beginning of our business, we started meeting people and started, we, we didn't know it at the time, but our passion was to grow people. We had a couple lights that we sold, and we had some good friendships. We had good relationships. So based on that 20, almost 18 years ago, we had good relationships, we had a few products, but we knew business. And Rachel and I decided to partner up. So we've always been in the low voltage landscape lighting business. We offer one-to-one -one business solutions. We've done it since inception. Today, with technology and everything we're trying to do, we've upped the ante a little bit because obviously technology is around. So we want to help you grow your businesses. We want to be partners. We want to innovate and create amazing outdoor lighting. 
We made a commitment in 2009 to build our technology in the United States and create sustainable jobs here in America. I get great reward when I get to see my staff, our people, our family have success, do things that challenge themselves. Gosh, you guys are so quiet. Come on, <laughs> cough, do something. <laughs> cough, cough, cough. All right, I'm from Detroit. Woo. Woo, yes. So I discovered this. It's not something that I really grabbed a hold of until I started creating this strategy since 2015. And I'm like, this is my foundation. This is where I'm from. This is why I'm tough. I can take things. I can wear things for my people. So I come from Detroit. I was surrounded by factory workers. Some of those factory workers were my family members. Hard workers making an honest living. Innovation was rampant in Detroit. I hope and pray they get it back because I'm a big advocate for Detroit. My purpose, I believe I was born to make a dent in the universe in a very positive way. At a young age, I discovered I can influence people. I want to use that influence in a very light and positive way. Garden Light LED gives me the opportunity to influence people in a positive way. For you all, lighting, it gives you an opportunity to influence your customers in a positive way. You create a better lifestyle for your customers. How rewarding is that at the end of the day? When you can sit down and take something that is a blank canvas and add light to it and make it bright and beautiful, I mean, that's, there's nothing more rewarding. Our purpose was founded on a lot of hard knocks. We've been doing this now for, Rachel has been doing it for 21 years. It hasn't all been great. This event's beautiful. Our, our customers are amazing but we've worked really hard to get here. We've had some wins. We've had losses. We're gonna keep having more losses, but we're also gonna have more wins because we're not gonna quit. And we're gonna work together. And we have our network, our people, our ethos. You guys are, like it or not, 2018, you're in. You're locked in. So grew up in Detroit. My parents divorced, I didn't go to college. <coughs> Um, it's funny because Topher, who's going to come work with you guys tomorrow, I'm going through his program and one of the first things was create your pitch. Well, I had to go back and try to figure out, and of course I'm with my husband who loves books and psychology and he's like, oh no, you're not going deep enough. Why, why am I doing this? Why do I care? I have four kids that are at the prime of their life. I have a lot going on. Why do I have this desire, this need, this unfulfillment, this not settling with the status quo? It's because I want to do something great and I want to do it with people that have the same vision and the same values that I do. And I think in business we attract a lot of the same. So I'm assuming maybe it's the 25% rule. But I think a lot of you in here are similar. You have that thirst. You have that passion. And you're not going to stop until it begins to get fulfilled. American business and manufacturing is in my blood. As I said, I didn't go to college. However, I've learned. I've, so I've sought. I seek. I want to know more. I want to study. Rato used to drive me crazy. He's probably read 40 books, 50 books in the past three years. He listens to them in the car. It used to drive me crazy because he's always got a book to recommend to somebody. But guess what? It works. People who have gone down paths, learn, be willing to listen, seek. So I want to leave a legacy. And what I have found in my journey is that the story of my life, where I've been, it's part of my legacy. It's part of my story. So one of the things that you're going to work with, we have a lot of dynamic speakers. 
Some of it might be coming from left field, right field, and when you do these events, you know, you're hit with a lot of information. I hope that something strikes a chord in you. I hope that the story of your life, you realize that all your past has led you to where you are here today. It may not be 100% where you want it to be, but you are on a journey. And you are sitting here right now, you've made a vested interest to improve your life and do something for your business. So you're on the right track. We all are young in here. We probably have another 40, 50 years. So I hope that we still know each other at that time and we can look at one another and we'll say, wow, remember that conversation? Remember when we said the story of our life and it's not over and that we have a legacy to leave? It's funny because I sat down to go through. Marcel, thank you for helping me with my presentation. Marcel. Yeah. He got mad at me. He's like, Michelle, you're not a PowerPoint girl. That sucks. And I'm like, Marcel, what do you mean? I'm like, what am I going to do? I'm like a week out from this. You know, I, got, I need help. So I went into the heart. And I was like, what, it, what am I doing? What is this about? I want to build relationships with you. We're here today. I want to do it for the rest of the year, next year, the year after, 20 years, 30 years, whatever it takes. We're not giving up. We're not quitting. We're working together. Passion. Do you guys think I'm passionate? A little bit. <laughs> I am passionate. My passion drives me. It's a gift. Don't take it for granted. Find where your passion comes from and feed it and let it grow. Manifest it. Critical thinking. Think. I mean, situational awareness. All these things are important when you're going into environments. I like to think. I like to learn. I like to see what other people are doing and figure out how I can implement that and if it makes sense for us or if it makes sense for our constituents, our partners, our employees, our company. Vision. First thing I do when I meet somebody, I want to know what your vision is. What is your short-term vision? What's your long-term vision? Are we in line? Am I going to be asking things of you that just you're not capable of? Because if we are, then maybe we're not a good fit. As hard as that is, you have to decide this with your customers sometimes too. Ask them, what is your vision? Here's what I do and what I have found for myself. Do our visions line up? It's a respectable thing to ask somebody. Conscious, be conscious. I am not a psychologist. Thank God we have one in the room, Bill. Anton? Yeah, Bill. Yo! So. He's going to talk to you guys a little bit about the subconscious mind and the conscious mind. I've had to do a lot of forgiving because that subconscious mind, it's bigger, it's stronger, it's p more powerful than that conscious mind. So as we do things, have you guys ever done anything and you've been like, dang it, why did I do that? That was the stupidest thing I've ever done. How many? How often? How often? Yesterday? Oh, shoot. All right, you got me beat. All right. That subconscious mind, no matter how conscious you are of your actions, your beliefs, who you are, it's going to prevail. There's missing parts of you inside that, and it's going to race to acquire, to solve, to get where it needs to be. So you've got a journey in your life. Hold on tight. It's like a jockey in a race. You have no choice. You're riding that horse. So this was a tangent I had one evening in the bathtub. <laughs> and um, it's just the character qualities of a legacy brand. So the story of your life brings you to where you are today. And I want you guys to get really deep in a positive way with who you are, where you come from, what you've been through to get here. Make no mistake of it. All those things had to happen to get you here today. I want you to grab a hold of it and make it part of your brand. Make it part of your purpose. Legacy brands are generational. 
They're not fly by night. They're not here today and gone tomorrow. They have longevity. You're thinking of your children's children. When I wake up this morning, all of my kids, I kiss them all. Guess what? I'm waking up because I'm thinking of their future. It's not going to be handed over to them, but I'm thinking of them. I'm consciously thinking of them. Could I create a business that could be passed down through generations that has something so powerful that people want to grab a hold of it and make it part of their own? It has character, character qualities. I met Billy Anton probably 10 years ago, 12 years ago, Rato. How long ago? 10 or 12 years ago. I actually went to his wife. Um, Rato and I had a very short courtship. I, I'm going to just be transparent with you guys. Uh, we've been together for 18 years. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> Thankfully to some people that are sitting in this room, we've had awesome mentors. We've had awesome people that grabbed a hold of us at a very young age and said, you got to get, get it right. You got children. You've got a business. You've got people relying on you. So we found good people to support us. Bill Anton's wife actually gave me this book. I think she bought it at the dollar store because it's a really old book, but it's Achieving True Success how to build a character family. And I love this book because it's great for teaching kids. It's got all the you know, different qualities of character. It's got obedience, orderliness, loyalty, meekness, joyfulness, justice, humility, in initiative, forgiveness, generosity. And it has an animal to represent each one of these, whether it be the beaver, the zebra, the snake. the, And you know, it's just something that we've made fun. We've kept it. It's a coffee top table for us. But I use this in my business. I use this to recenter myself when I'm off, when I'm beating myself up because I haven't done enough or because I haven't done this or this isn't right. I go back to this. It was a wonderful gift that somebody gave me. So I believe a legacy brand has character. It has awareness. It strives for better. And it strives for the betterment of others. Quality. It's conscious. It offers service, experiences to your customers. It does things differently than your competitors. It goes the extra mile. It has software. It has systems. It's educating itself. It's working hard to become better, to learn. It has quality. It has quality. It does things the right way even when people aren't looking. My son the other day told me we stopped at a light that's on by our house. It's at a little church. And he goes, Mom, go. It's, it's, it's red, but nobody's here. And I turned over and I looked at him. I said, we got to do the right thing, even when no one's looking. Service. It's relationship centric. I cannot tell you. I have worked with hundreds of entrepreneurs. I've worked with hundreds of LED lighting professionals. And the ones that tell me I don't need to do a demo. I have a reputation. People know what I do. They can drive down to the neighbor's house and go see my work. Terrible. Terrible mistake. If you're not giving that customer the service that they deserve and you're not investing in that customer, shame on you. Somebody else will. We're big proponents of a demo because you're creating an experience. You're investing in that customer. Does it take time? Yes, it does. How bad do you want it? How valuable is that customer to you? So here we go, generational, discipline, hard work, children's children. You're thinking of your children's children. You're taking it seriously, just like being an American entrepreneur. Be proud of that. That's big. I'm proud of all of you. I'm proud that you own your own businesses. I'm proud that I get to associate with you and hopefully feed you in some way. That makes me happy. It's less of the norm. Do it. Because guess what? Other people aren't. 
we come in the society right now that everything's so fast and so quick and it's all, you know, come and go. Be different. And you'll reap great benefits. Character. It's cultural. When you think of a culture, when you travel to different countries and you see they have culture, I mean, that's big. Create a culture for yourself. It's timeless. It carries merit. It's trusted. It's a good thing. When you have character, people know they expect that you're going to do the right thing. You inspire people, you attract people, and you become appealing when you have character. And people can count on you for who you say you are and the service that you're going to provide them. Quality. Doing the right thing. You're fair. You have a good reputation. You've got systems in place. We're working on software. I mean, we are committed to that for our partners. Has it been perfect? No. Is it going to ever be perfect? No. But we know as a company, 100%, we not only want to make the most innovative product, the most highest quality product, but we want to help our clients become the best that they can be. We want to help them capture their local market and dominate. Document, measure, ah, get analytics. There's so much good stuff. Make sure you have somebody on your team. Track things, look at data. Data tells you where you're going, what you're doing, and what mistakes you've made. It's important. Is everybody doing good? Yeah. I just saw, are you good? Awesome. All right, guys. So, humility. You know, when I started getting nervous, that's one of the things. I want to be humble. I'm grateful that you guys even traveled this far. I want to have humility. I want to be a good example. I want to learn. I want to educate. I want to grow. I'm not happy. I'm not stalemate. I want to keep learning from all our people. I learn something every single day. Um, associate with other lighting professionals. I cannot tell you how important this is. Sandy, you're amazing. When we met you, you have influenced the industry so much. People respect you. I loved meeting, I love meeting people like this. Learn from people that have a lot of experience in the industry. Find the ones that, I joke and laugh and say this, but find the ones that look smart. <laughs> Ask them a lot of questions. If you were at the bar last night, maybe I shouldn't say this. Stay, no, just kidding. But guys, network, exchange phone numbers, talk, figure out best practices, get a mentor, because one day you might be a mentor. You start as a mentee, but one day you might be a mentor. Get certified, join organizations. Uh, Nels Peterson's here. Um, he is AOLP certified, COLD, and CVLT. I highly recommend it. It's something that you can always be learning, always seek to find and learn, always. Sacrifice today for tomorrow. Are we, are we really willing to do that? Are we willing to sacrifice for today, for our tomorrow? All week this week, I'm telling you, I just went to bed at 9 o'clock. I was just ready. I was doing yoga every day. I sacrificed. I had friends calling me, can you go here? Can we go? No. I had to sacrifice. I had to make decisions to put myself in a good seat. So please, if you have something important, sacrifice for it. Value it. Because you, if you lose it, you really want it, don't you? Has anybody ever lost an opportunity that, that they said, gosh, I wish I didn't do that? Because I wasn't willing to say no to myself. You lost it, right? And we're still going to do those stupid things because I do it. <laughs> But they get few and far between. Oh, I missed a slide. Let's go back. Whoop. So build an exceptional lighting for company for yourself. Always be changing for the better. Be willing to learn. Save money. Live below your means. Save money. Live below your means. You don't need it. Okay. If it's something for your business, make those investments for your business. Build a business for future generations. Show respect for mankind and also our planet. Care. 
We sometimes think, wow, it's just me. I can't really make a difference. I don't believe that. I don't believe that. I refuse to believe that. <laughs> the slide just says it all. So as you continue to grow and find yourself and become better, make sure that you're treating your people the right way. Make sure that you think of your partners, your employees, the people that make you look good. Respect them. Bring them systems. Help them. Bring the best out of them. Hire people that are better in some things than you and let them do what they need to do. Don't kill their motivation. This is a hard one for Rachel and I because we are very involved in our company. And we try to hire people that can do things better than us in certain areas. Because there is one day, we'll always be involved in the business, but there is one day that we, we want to travel. We want to reap the benefits. We want to enjoy our children. So if we're not motivating our employees and empowering them to make decisions, this is something that we have to be conscious of and aware of. We want them to think. The laws of attraction, recruiting. So as the story of your life, and as you continue to nail that down, and continue to attach that to your legacy brand, good things are going to happen. I don't care if you're a, one guy in a truck or if you're a husband and wife team, you're going to need to grow. You're going to need to recruit people. You're going to need to hire people that are smarter than you in other areas. You're going to need a strategy and a plan because I don't think anybody here wants to sit stalemate. You all have a vested interest. You've all invested your time, your money, your energy. You've put things off to be here. Get a plan because when you start getting it right, you're going to need to grow and you're going to need to recruit. And I'm hoping for each one of you, and I'm not kidding, when I say this demo thing, Rato's created a new demo system. We are going to take orders for them. We don't have any ready, ready right now because Eddie has some personal issues. But I want each of you to have five salespeople out with these demo cases and selling lights. Let your salespeople, train your salespeople really, really well. Have five or six work, people working on your behalf out there selling these systems because everyone needs lights. Maybe it's just me. Do you guys agree? Yeah. Who needs lights? Everybody. Who needs lights? Corey? Who needs lights? You sold the guard at the community. He knows everybody. Perfect. Everybody needs lights, so. That's your biggest advocate. I love it. <laughs> everyone needs lights. We all the world is a dark place. We all need lights. That's the good news. You're in the right business. Yes, Marcel. We need lights, right? Absolutely. You were giving me the cue, and now you just shut me down. No, you better stand up and give me that. You better give me some. All right. So be prepared. Prepare. It's like, I don't know. I just thought of like, you know, the, the Thanksgiving feast. Look at all the preparation that goes into that. You know, you're like thinking, you're, you're thinking of your family, the fun times you're going to have, preparing the turkey, making the stuffing, you know, making the green bean, the sweet potato casserole. Prepare it. Prepare it from your heart. Prepare it from your heart with love. And then you'll grow. You get to do this internally and externally. You're recruiting customers. You're recruiting people, you're recruiting people that are like you. You're recruiting people internally to help your team and grow your team. So recruiting is internal and external. Strategic relationships. For some of you that have been with us for a long time, there's like seven stupid mistakes that lighting professionals make. I don't, what's a strategic partner? I don't need to do de night demos. I don't want to grow. I want to do things the way they were. I'm comfortable. I know everything. I don't need to network. I don't need to associate with people. Big mistakes. You guys, people, I hear it all the time because I work with so many lighting professionals. I cannot tell you. Oh, we don't use integrated. 
We use bulbs. I don't like the architecture. I like the landscape. What? <laughs> I'm like, come on. Be willing to learn. Be willing to learn. Strategi strategic partnerships. We've done this event. This is our third year. And it's been a lot of lighting professionals. This is the first year we've, or actually last year we had a few manufacturer reps. The product, when we started going to light fair, started getting a lot of attention from um, manufacturer reps. It's a differentiator for price, for quality, for warranty. It's a high quality product. It's CNC machined, it's milled, it's our own proprietary technology we started getting the attention of some manufacturer reps. So we are actively working on building our national rep strategy. One of the things that Rayto and I are very protective of is our installers. We have invested 21 years into the design and installation community. And we are not going to let that go to the wayside. We're unlike other manufacturers. Other manufacturers, that's not their go to market. They've either gone through distribution, they've either gone through their manufacturer rep channels solely. We have relationships, very good relationships with people that we care truly about. And we believe that the installation, the design and installation, we can have the best product in the world, but if we don't have somebody to put it in the ground that's going to respect it and trust it and, and treat it with what it needs to be treated with, use the peripherals, use the, the non-corrosive wire, use the gas tight drum connectors, offer that customer that service and experience that they cannot get anywhere else. We believe that's the commodity. So we are working diligently to create strategic relationships on behalf and with our partners. Because we know that they need the design and installation component. It's the most important part of that fixture, believe it or not. Fifty Shades of Lazy. Did anybody go see the new Fifty Shades yet? Is it, was, it a, was it a date night? How'd I know? Uh, I, I'm not even going to. I didn't gonna, go by myself. I'm just. Uh, okay. All right. Tell uh, everybody. All right. Yeah. I, I, listen. And, and I'm not going to ask how the rest of the night went. Because I, I can kind of bet on that one. All right. Yeah, we got to go see it. I won't take my kids. No. All right, so Fifty Shades of Lazy. Ah, wow. So 25% of you are going to leave here. You're going to be pumped. You're going to be in line. You're going to be like, wow, 2018, I'm going to kill it. I'm going to do everything I learned. I'm going to implement all of it. 25% of you are going to hear it and you're not going to know what to do with it. You can call us if that happens to you. 25% of you are going to take heed, hear it, and not do a darn thing with it. And that's just a statistical thing, and I don't know. You guys could all prove me wrong, and I hope you do. Because I told Rayto, I'm bringing them to you. I'm bringing them. Let's get them. I want them here. I want them growing. But there are going to be statistically 25% that just it doesn't happen for you. So if that happens, I'm going to personally call you and I'm going to plug some life into you. Then there's 25% of us that are just lazy. We're just lazy. I don't want to do night demos. I don't, it takes too much of my time. I don't need to. I've been in this business long enough. People can drive down the street and see my neighbor's house that I did for the neighbor. Fifty Shades of Lazy. Don't be lazy. Be exceptional. Offer your customers something that they cannot get from your competitors. And you will have a significant advantage. And you will win every time. And it's not necessarily about winning and losing. But there are going to be some losers and there are winners. That's just how life works. Winning. Whoa. Woo, woo, woo. I like that. I like to win. But I also appreciate when I lose. Because when you lose, you learn. Be curious. Rayto says this a lot. Look around. If you see a box on the floor, look in the box. How'd the box get there? You know, if you see something that looks off, look. Be curious. 
have curiosities. If you want to light a building that you didn't think you could ever have the opportunity to light, be curious. Ask questions. Don't give up. Be courageous. Be courageous. Be proud. Wear who you are on your sleeve. Be proud. Be courageous. Everybody's got the same stuff you have. We're all just, we're all just trying to figure this life out that we have. Do it with somebody that you can do it together with, but be courageous. Don't let mistakes or failed opportunities go by because you weren't courageous. Seek and create new opportunities, provide solutions, demonstrate value. How do you demonstrate value? Particularly in the lighting industry, you provide demos. You do things that you don't necessarily get paid for, and that's not the only vision and the only goal. You do things because you're creating relationships and differentiators for yourself. Oh, I got to go back to that one little line because that was a good one. Talk to everyone that will listen without being annoying. So I'm going to lay on the plane soon so I don't get annoying. But talk to everybody that will listen. Risk being seen in all your glory. Risk. Why? You deserve it. Why not? It's so funny because of the 500 dealers we deal with throughout North America, 30 have generated multi-million dollar companies. I will tell you the biggest problem is people don't believe they can do it. People say they want to be a millionaire. They say they want to make money. They feel guilty about it for, for some reason. To me, it's not necessarily about the money. To me, it's the reward of, and the journey of getting there and the challenges and creating something different for yourself. But risk being seen in all your glory. It's, you're, you, this is not over. We're all young. I've already said that. We're young. We've got another 40, 40 years or so, 40, 50 years, depending on how old you are in the building. But risk it. Whoop, there's that wonderful, beautiful mind. Look out. Consciously do things better, but look out because that subconscious mind, that jockey on the horse in the Kentucky Derby, which is the subconscious mind with the missing parts of your person, it's driving you. Be aware of it. It's there and it's not going to go away. And it can be a good thing, but just be aware of it. So you hate your job, tell your boss, I quit, I'm done, and start your own business in the LED lighting business. How many of you have friends that hate their job? Hate it. Perfect. Bring them to Garden Light. We can train them. We'll get them in, in the LED lighting business. But it's true. We have met so many people throughout the years. Not so many. Let me just be humble. A few. We've met a few that said, oh my gosh, I never thought it possible. I didn't think I could own my own company. I didn't think I could own my own business. I've been doing this all my life. I don't have any money. I can't afford to go into business for myself. Yes, you can. Because you have partners, and you have a network, and you have people that actually care. Become an American entrepreneur. So the anatomy of an entrepreneur, we all have two eyes, two ears a mouth, hands. We all are the same. Anybody can do what they desire with passion, discipline. You can own a very successful LED lighting company. And that's my greatest hope and my greatest desire for all of you. Be obsessed with learning. Be obsessed to be the best. When I say be the best, the best design, the best customer experience. Digital marketing, blah, blah, blah. We've all heard about it, but guess what? It's here. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Everybody needs to find you instantly on this. It's not going to be easy. It's something that we are aware of. And I want you guys to be aware of it as well. 
It's a digital age. I don't need to tell you this. People are driving through the local market. They want instant <coughs> gratification. They want to find a lighting company. They need something fixed. It's got to be here. It's got to be here. You have to be conscious of this. You have to be aware. We offer digital marketing strategies for our customers. Um, I'm going to just be really humble because I'm being transparent. We, in 2015, when we launched our strategic plan, we decided to create a software platform. Um, we've <laughs> learned a lot. I'm so grateful for the journey that I've been on. I wouldn't trade it for the world. I'd trade some of the headaches for it. But I know that I know, and Rato stands behind me on this because this was one of my other great ideas. I want to provide software and marketing solutions for our partners. I know you're waiting on service titan, operating systems. I want it. I'm not going to quit until we have it and it's taken care of for you. Rato knows this. He doesn't know how much it is, but <laughs> he knows it. And I get what I want. So <laughs> yes. <laughs> Operating software, like s okay. service, yeah, yeah. Uh, point of sale, right. sending your customers, you know, yeah. notices, yeah. we're coming out today, yeah. being, being stuff that's used in big business. We really want to incorporate and, and get some of these digital assets for our clients because we believe it's a differentiator. I just had the pleasure of meeting Ken from Miami Electric Masters, and I love when I get to meet our customers and hear some of their vision and strategies. His vision's in line with Garden Light's vision. He's been in business for 30 years. I just learned this outside the door. First time I met him, he's our 11th hour child. He called on Friday and said, I need to come. I wasn't signed up. We said, come on, get in. There's still room for you. He has the same strategy. He wants to help other electricians with software, with marketing, being visual in their local market, be, being found. So I'm looking forward to meeting with Ken later today and, and learning more about his company and his vision. It's really important. Um, the, the be digital or die, you're dead or alive. It's the seven deadly sins of marketing. We don't want to be any of those things. <laughs> we don't want that. So we want to be good at providing digital marketing solutions for our customers. We know it's a game changer. We know it's a differentiator. And we know it's important for the success of your business. We live in a different era. In 1970s, it was all about products. Today, it's about products and services. In 2000, it was about being customer-centric. Today, it's about being relationship-centric. That's what I was talking to you guys about, about providing the demos, going, out, going the extra mile, doing things that your competitors are not going to do. Really thinking about that customer, following up. Once you have a customer, it's not over. Continue to follow up with them. Your customers are your best resource for referrals. I've met people that have written books just on referrals. I mean, I'm thinking, how in the heck do you write a whole entire book on referrals? You write a book on referrals because it's very important. A satisfied customer is one of your very best advocates for business. So follow up, touch those customers, stay customer centric and relationship centric. I found this to be a really interesting fact. Over the past 15 years, 52% of Fortune 500 companies have disappeared. The lifespan of a Fortune 50 company used to be 75 years. Today it's 15 years. You can be extinct tomorrow if you're not watching everything that you're doing today. So with content writing, you know, we, had, we got ready for Dealer Congress. Content writing is very important. You want to be blogging. You want to be writing. You want to be solving people's problems. You want to be touching shoulder industries. Companies that you may not necessarily be working with today are companies that you will work with tomorrow if your content's written correctly and set up for success. Solve people's problems. Do competitive analysis. Educate people through your content. Work with shoulder industries. 
I don't care if it's a dog walker. You can walk a dog in a well-lit area and the dog's gonna be safe and you're not gonna fall in a hole and tear your ACL. Right? Correct. So, shoulder, go with shoulder industries, partner with other industries. We know where we wanna be, we have that goal at the end, but we've gotta get creative and figure out how to partner with different industries to get there. And that's really good, strong content. When you can not necessarily talk about yourself, when you can demonstrate problems, create solutions, give a unbiased competitive analysis, people will trust you. Local's the new next door. They want memorable experiences, immediate fulfillment. It's only gonna get worse. It's only gonna get more. I mean, I feel for our ch children, you know, 20 years from now, what is, it, what is this world gonna be like? Everything's now, quick. I try to go back to the past. I like to try to hold on to, I'm, I'm, I'm learning. I wanna get better. I mean, I love the technology, I love digital, I love all the stuff, but gosh, I, I also strive and wanna be simple. I want some of the simplicities as well. Real time anywhere, my gosh, Amazon. I think there's Amazon Prime now. You can order groceries and have them delivered in less than four hours. That's insane. There's drones that drop stuff off. They'll even put it in your door. I mean, this. you guys have a commodity piece though. Amazon can't sell that. The service, the design, the installation, the customer experience, it can't be sold on Amazon. So you got the commodity piece. And personalized moments. We all want something personal that makes us feel like it's ours. Embracing digital marketing, we got the Master Dealer Program. Garden Light LED has a Master Dealer Program. We launched that program in 2015. Uh, we want to support our customers with operating solutions and marketing services. We have recently acquired some very good talent. Casey, who some of you have met, uh, Jason. Um, Marsal comes from uh, marketing and PR. He knows all the, the ins and outs. So our recruiting has changed a little bit too. I went from not having a marketing team at all, no one, to now we have four people in the building that are just 100% focused on digital marketing strategies for our customers and for Garden Light. So, gosh, guys, it doesn't seem like that long ago when we all had desktop phones and, I, man, I don't even remember, like, the big computers. Louise, what were we doing back when you first started with Garden Light? Did we have, like, what, a what did we do, Louise? <laughs> we were just dialing for dollars. We were like, woo! Man, we got a lot done back then, because I think technology, sometimes it slows you down. But man, it, it wasn't that long ago. It really wasn't. I mean, we had those big, huge cell phones. I remember when they first came out. I was probably 10 or something. Is <laughs> Yeah, yes, the big, huge box, you know. So come on, it hasn't been that long. Things are changing rapidly. We're in a digital age. Local searches for products. People are not gonna go home and look through the yellow pages or go on their computer at home, people are driving in their car and they are looking in their local market and they wanna know right now, who do I need to call? Right now, right here, right now. In fact, they're not even stopping the car. They're doing it while they're driving. I'm trying to get better about that. None of you guys text and drive, do you? Oh, no. No. Promise? No. All right. No texting and driving. I'll try not to, too. <laughs> Five-star reviews. You work hard for those. You work hard for those. Ask for those. Ask right then. Get a process down where you're asking your customers right then. Once you light them up, they're happy. Have the software. Have the iPad. Have the Android. Have whatever right there and just say, would you mind leaving me a review and have it all plugged in and ready to go? Acquire those, that's real estate. 
That's your digital real estate. That's right. That's right. So eight types of innovation. We don't ever do any of this stuff, though, ever. I promise. You guys are supposed to laugh. <laughs> I'm still reading, sorry. Come on, hit, hit, <laughs> nudge, nudge. No, we want to be original. We like originality. You know, we want. We don't want to be overcomplicated. So, yes, we're in a digital world, and yes, it's rapidly changing. Try not to overcomplicate things. Keep things simple. K I S S. It's easier said than done. But really strive for that. Be innovative. Have new technologies. Um, I copycat thing. Know what your competitors are doing. I cannot tell you enough. The first thing I do with a lighting professional, the minute he walks through the door, that's his first assignment. Call people in your local market who are doing lighting. See what they're doing. See what you like. Leave the rest. So I, I think you always need to be learning. And you do need to be aware of what your competitors are doing. You definitely have to keep your eye on that, because competition's fierce. Testimonials. We have a customer. He did not have a website. When we launched the digital marketing strategy for our customers, I was so happy to contact Dan Allen and tell him that we were going to give him a co-marketed site and that we were going to handle his directory listings in his local market and try to get him five-star reviews. He never had one. For 20, he never got to it. He didn't have time. I cannot tell you the people that I meet. A lot of you guys are sophisticated and savvy and have software. Um, some of us don't. Some people need help with that. So we're here for you. We want to support you and help you if you decide you need it. If you want us to generate and drive traffic to your existing site, that's something we're also interested in doing. We want to support our partners in their local market. We want to drive revenue and sales and relationships for our partners, with our partners. And then Steve is here. Steve's lucky because he's local. And Steve gets to come in. And I think we, I, to correct me if I'm wrong, do we spoil you? A little bit. <laughs> ah. yeah, you do. We want to spoil all of you. If it's in our bandwidth, we want to do it. We want to support you. It doesn't stop here today or tomorrow. We've created an event for you. My team has worked hard to pull the talent, the topics, the subject, the content, everything that we're trying to expose you guys to, I would say, please don't say I know it all. I don't need to go core drill with Corey. I don't need to go match stucco. I don't need to fit. I know it all. He does things with our product line. I promise you'll learn something. You can probably teach him a few tricks too. Okay? These strategy sessions for tomorrow, even if you're not an installer or designer, please go. Because Mary Peterson, thank you so much for telling me. Michelle, and I love Mary because she's going to be working with you guys. Mary said to me, Michelle, I didn't know how to sell this product until I knew how to install it. So even if you think you don't need to attend that session, please do. Because it's, light bulbs are going to go off, even for you guys, Josh. You guys don't necessarily install it. But you need to know what your customers are up against. Because your customers are the guys that are putting it in the ground. So if you can see it installed, if you can experience it that way, being the business savvy person that you are, I know that other things are going to happen. That's the other thing. I want you guys to bring me ideas and bring our team ideas. Because we've got some very intelligent people in here I want to know. Bring me stuff. Tell me. Let me send me down so I can go investigate things that you may know that I may not know. That's what we all need to do together. We need to work together as a team to figure out how we can create new markets, new territories, new strategies for longevity, for a legacy business, to create and establish that legacy brand for ourselves. Thank you.